Technics. And while well, joined here by Mithy, who is a, once he can hear us, he can hear us. He can't I, hear me right now, which I you will in a second, but the people at home can hear us. We're joined by Mithy after that second okay. victory for uh, OG in two days. Can you hear me yet? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, I have an idea. Do this. Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. That was a pretty good two days for OG <laughs> already. Um, tell us about this game specifically, because it was quite hyped in terms of two versus two, and it ended up being the two versus two. Uh, yeah, we wanted to lane swap. Plus, we have never played Vayne before. Like, we played it like two times. So, but I, I told Niels that I wanted to lock him in Vayne because it was really OP against that comp. And we wanted to lane swap, but then they, like, we blind swapped, they swapped on us. Then we were a bit scared, but they didn't really do much. Mm -hmm. And then we could have killed him, but uh, Niels misplayed a bit. Even though I'm not sure, but I think we could have killed. But I'm not sure if the guy would have died if Niels uh, auto attacked before he hit. But yeah. Uh, that's kind of how it went. Yeah, a pretty elaborate explanation, and it was very close as well. Tell me about more of your game plan, because you know we've uh, repeated so many times that H2K is so good in the beginning of the game, and it did seem that you guys on every front just wanted to shut them down early. Well, uh, I, 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 I don't know how good they are. Uh, we were very scared. I was very, uh, I mean, not scared, but I, I have a lot of respect for Kazing, and I was, you know, like, uh, hyped up, you know, like mm -hmm. a bit scared uh, in a way about the match, but so I, I gave my best and it worked out. But we haven't really seen, like, ha we haven't played against any of these teams online. I mean, offline, so it's hard to, for us to say how 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 good we expect them to be or how good they are. Maybe they're much better than they play today. It's just a best of one, so mm -hmm. you never know. I think it's very interesting because you guys showed a lot of strengths there, even growth. I didn't see Niels really play Vayne in Challenger. One thing I wanted to pick up on was H2K in this game. They did so many things differently to how we're used to them doing. Uh, only in three games, two after Kissing joined, did they ever give up the first three dragons. That is something completely not like the H2K we know. Uh, just also the 2v2 yesterday, Kissing said here on the analyst desk that he felt Hyanan and Kasing were the best 2v2. You guys certainly, certainly made it not look that way. What are your feelings on how strong Niels and yourself, Mithy, are? How, how good are you compared to every other bot lane? We're fine. You're fine? <laughs> yeah. We're fine. You, you look better than fine in that game, yeah. I must say. I love how uh, you, uh, Niels is sitting here. He's quite confident. You just keep <laughs> it cool and you're like, we're fine. And yeah. you like having a great scoreline yesterday, 0-2-16 uh, well, on the, Alpha. The thing is, well. I, I feel, or I'm getting the impression that a lot of LCS teams think 2v2 two two killing people or just trading and out-trading is important. But in reality, all you have to do is farm up, get a good comp and not die to ganks and lose the game and uh, yeah, I think we do that good. We don't kill the enemy. I mean, we could have killed them, I think, this time mm -hmm. because they screwed up, but it's all about punishing mistake. And if you force, if you try to force mistakes by over trading, like for given us, for example, it can sometimes backfire really hard or you can win really hard, but I don't think that's the right approach to to a game. Well, the knowledge bombs dropped right here by uh, Mithy. You guys did kill a lot of people, although in this game, of course, you have to, to win the game. And we have a replay that we want to line up, uh, very impressive, just showing how aggressive you guys were early and some great play by you as well. And you wanted to set this one up. Uh, yeah, so what happens here is that the we have TP priority on them. The Maokai has no TP, we do. So we are basically we, we can basically force a four versus three on bot lane, which means we can dive them easy with the, with the picks we have. And, and then we just basically call call it off. We tell Peke we're going to dive bot, so you can like just do whatever you have to do. So you are here at least three seconds earlier than Kassadin. Flash. Yeah, like just whatever, <laughs> you know, because he can, like if Kassadin roams, early, roams first, it can be a bit annoying. But if he roams at the same time as him, it's fine. And we just set it up. We are, we are one man up. So all we have to do is just click our spells and, and kill them. Yeah, they can't do anything. Yeah, right now. Yeah. So, so yeah, they, they, they smell it too. They start running. But, uh, well, they, I mean, Jana has to flash out, but yeah, as I said, it's like three versus three versus four, so there's nothing they can do. I flash and stun Pretty them. Pretty nice stun. <laughs> yeah, then we 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 just keep chasing them, and then I think Soa starts trolling at some point here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nils yeah, actually. Yeah, we, we get two kill. kills. Yeah, and then Soas is trolling here. Yeah. 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 A little bit overconfident at that time, but uh, well, you guys had a really, really good game overall. Yeah. 
Yeah, I completely agree. And one of the biggest things coming out of Champion Select was how the Evelyn would affect the game. And I have to say, Origin did a great job in the early game. Uh, you had enough information to kind of predict where Eve was going to be. And you guys know Lulex. He, he goes very, very greedily through the jungle and backs. And Amazing read it perfectly. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing. The early gank yeah, it felt, onto Cass. It felt that they didn't respect Amazing enough because... I think, I, I, actually, I don't remember, but I think we banned Rek'Sai, I'm not sure. Uh, and yes, she did. Yes. Yeah, and we got, like, basically Rek'Sai and Gragas are the best junglers right now, and we banned Rek'Sai, so if we get Gragas, then the enemy jungler is a bit screwed in terms of early, early game pressure, and they didn't care about it, so they, I, th I felt they disrespected Amazing in that regard, mm -hmm. and he did a very good job early game, and they tried to gank me top, but I kind of smelled it, it was pretty obvious, so they didn't really get anything out of it top, and yeah, I don't know. Once Eve shows, she loses all the pressure, and then Amazing could freely gank mid, even flash in mid and do whatever because he won't get counter ganked. Yep. Um, good yeah, good read, good picks, good game overall, and 2-0 and oh on the very first games of Origin in the LCS. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Andy. you very much. All right, we need to go on cooldown, but when we return, Pepe Nero and Giants Gaming will take on Soren and the Copenhagen Wolves, so don't go anywhere. All right, so maybe I'm crazy today and delusional, so we should not listen to me. Okay. Yeah, as usual. Per usual, don't listen to me. They found it, the monsoon will keep Lulex alive. Just barely, but Niels finds one. Can he do another? Condemn against the wall. You saw a double kill. You have to back, you have to back, you have to back. You have to fight back, them, fight them, fight them. Okay, we're coming. In two, in two. You can delay them. I'm still here. Nice. Oh, this guy up. Kill him! Yeah. Well, there it goes. The equalizer gets thrown down, though, and H2K's health bars are evaporating a very big barrel. Origin have thundered to a 2-0 start in the LCS Summer Split.